You've probably tried prompting Copilot inside PowerPoint like many tutorials show, only to end up with a bunch of vague slides that completely miss the point and are useless in real work environments. And now you are stuck redoing all the deck manually because Copilot had no clue what your presentation was actually for. If that's your workflow, it won't save you time, it will only slow you down. But with the correct workflow, AI should be able to make slides like this. And in this video, I'll walk you through the right Copilot workflow to make presentations that are actually useful at work in just a few minutes. Oh, and by the way, I'm using Copilot for these demonstrations because most companies nowadays are blocking generic AI tools for data privacy reasons, but everything I'm going to show works in any AI tool that you know, and I'll show you along the way. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's start by simulating a real use case. Let's pretend we're a product manager at Sony trying to convince the stakeholders on how Sony should enter the consumer drone market. Now, instead of prompting Copilot directly, the first step we're going to take is gathering the right data to make a compelling story that can convince our stakeholders. For this, we're going to jump into Copilot, we're going to open the researcher agent, and we're going to use this prompt. And quick note, you can get all the prompts in this video by clicking on the link in the description. Now, this prompt goes as follows. Act as a senior market research analyst with 15 plus years of experience in consumer electronics. Analyze the consumer drone market opportunity for Sony. Focus your analysis on the total addressable market, key market segments, current competitive landscape, Sony's potential competitive advantages, primary barriers to entry and how Sony could overcome them, and revenue potential and market positioning opportunities. And finally, we tell Copilot how to structure this, in this case as an executive briefing, and where possible, we ask Copilot to provide specific data points and cite all the sources. While we are waiting for researchers to come up with some questions, what is very important to know is that when you are prompting the researcher agent, it is important to be very specific with your prompt. And that's why in this prompt, we specify very clearly what are the areas in which you want the researcher to focus. Now, typically, after prompting the agent, the researcher will come back with more questions because they want to understand better the request and make sure that they research the right topics. Now, in this case, though, I'm going to say go ahead with the analysis and make sure that Copilot uses their best judgment. All right, it's been about seven minutes and the report is ready and it's really comprehensive. Like going first through the market size and growth outlook, giving some data points on how large the market was in 2025 and the expected growth projections. You can also see it did analysis on competitive landscape and market share. So DJI indeed has been identified as the dominant leader. But there's also some other competitors like Auto Robotics, Parrot, Skydio, and other ones that I personally have never heard of. It also dove into customer segments and their purchasing behavior, different kind of consumer profiles, and basically what's the behavior they have towards buying such products like a drone. And this part here is quite interesting, so it's also diving into what's the sonic unique advantage in the drone market. And actually, there's quite some interesting insights, like, of course, Sony has quite some imaging expertise. So that's something that Sony could use as an edge to position their consumer drones. But it's also highlighting other areas like sensing and stability and the strengths that Sony has in that area. And you can see there is much more. And honestly, this is looking pretty amazing. But you can also see it's a ton of information. There is no way we can fit these two stakeholders in this format. And that's where the next step comes in. What we want to do is condense all this information into a compelling story that we can use to convince our stakeholders. And for that, of course, Copilot can also help us. And there's a few ways in which you can do this, but my favorite is basically you scroll to the bottom of the answer and then you press over here and again, edit in pages. What this is gonna do is basically transfer all that information into an editable page that then we can load into a notebook. And the reason why I choose to go for a Copilot notebook in this case is because in reality, if you would be working for Sony, of course you can ask Copilot to do all that research and get some sources, but you will also have your internal files. And in a notebook, basically you can load all those sources at once so you can interact with all of them and make sure that when you are creating the slides, all these different sources are taken into account. All right, so for it, I'm gonna go to notebook, then create Copilot Notebook. I'm gonna call this one Sony Drones Dominance. And here you can see why earlier I decided to edit the research in pages because now it shows as a source that I can click and I can load into the notebook. All right, and now that the info is loaded into the notebook, I'm gonna use the following prompt. Using the McKinsey Pyramid Principle and all the information attached to this notebook, create a presentation outline with maximum 10 slides for Sony's drone market entry. For each slide, please provide a compelling action-based title, two or three key supporting points with data, a primary insight or a so what statement for that slide, a logical transition I can use to the next slide, and a suggested visual element. 
And as you can see, I'm also giving some guidelines on how the title should be structured. Now, in this case, I chose the McKinsey Pyramid Principle because it's quite a known framework when you want to convince your stakeholders about taking a specific action. But you can level this up by first asking Copilot which framework is best to use. And for that, you can use a prompt like the one we see right now on screen. I'm creating a strategic business case presentation for Sony's drone market, recommend the best presentation framework from these options below, or suggest other alternatives. For example, the SQA framework on a problem solution benefit action, strategic narrative art, and you name it. And the cool thing here is that Copilot will also come up with other suggestions if needed. And once it makes the recommendation, it will also explain why it chose the framework it chose. And if you still think that's not the best, you can pick one of the other alternatives. Now, in this case, you can see how Copilot already helped create quite a solid outline using the pyramid principle that I specified. And you can see here how it starts on the first slide by mentioning what's the actual opportunity, how much revenue could Sony get but getting into this market, then an 18 month window before market consolidation, then jumping into customer segments that are asking for this Sony quality imaging. And well, you can see here the full outline. What I find personally very interesting is not just that it gives you the key points that you want to mention in that slide, but also what is the primary insight? Because in the end stakeholders, they will just focus on what is the key message that you want to bring in that slide. And here you have it specified by Copilot. What is also quite nice is that in this overview, it provides a natural transition to flow into the next slide. So the entire presentation feels like a story that is flowing naturally. And finally, for each slide, it's suggesting some visuals that you could use to emphasize the key message provided in that slide. Now, this transformation on its own is already amazing. We went from a very, very dense research to an executive ready outline in just a few minutes. Now here you can ask Copilot to turn this into an exportable PowerPoint deck. But honestly, the outcome is pretty bad. I mean, it's not just that the slides are in 4x3 format, but they are really boring. And come on, Copilot, I would expect that you can do better since you integrate with PowerPoint. So instead of this, what you want to do is have Copilot create a Word file for you with the outline, and you will have to do some formatting. Whatever is the title, you can ask it to format it as a heading one, and each key point should be formatted as a heading two. Next, we open PowerPoint, we go to New Slide, and then slides from outline. We select the Word file that we just exported from Copilot and we click on insert. And what's good about this method is that if you have a corporate template that you should use, you can first open the template and then load the outline from Word. So the slides that you create will be using the branding of your company. Now, all the content in PowerPoint, of course, is still not super engaging. So the next step is really going onto the design phase. Typically, I would go to design suggestions and then you can pick one of the multiple suggestions you have. Like maybe in this case, I want to use a template like this one, or you could also decide to make it a bit more engaging with an image like this. I don't know, in this case, Case, maybe I'm gonna go for this one. Now the next steps are really the fine tuning phase. Ideally for a good presentation, you want to make sure that anybody can go just through the titles and get a full grasp of the entire story. So the first thing to do is to run through all the different titles and see if the story flows nicely. And if there is any that you don't like, like for example, I don't like this one over here, you can prompt Copilot something like this. Rewrite this light title to be more action oriented and compelling for executives. Make the title specific with numbers where possible, action oriented, what should happen and benefit focus and give me five options for it. And you can see Copilot is thinking for a while and he just gave five titles. And maybe I'm gonna use this one over here, even though I'm also gonna tell you this is probably still not the best. So here I would still spend some time doing some tweaking until I find a really good title that I can use in an actual corporate presentation. Now, if you remember, Copilot also created some suggestions on visuals that we can use for its slide. So ideally what you would do in this case is also go back to the Copilot notes and check which visuals are being suggested. And then ideally you implement those visuals so you you can make this presentation really corporate ready. Now, once you would have the entire presentation ready, the next thing you want to do is suggest speaker notes. And for that, Copilot can also help you. So you can use a prompt like this one over here, asking Copilot to create comprehensive speaker notes for each slide that include the key talking points, what are the transition statements to the next slide, what are possible questions and answers that I could give, and basically what are the main points that I need to deliver for maximum impact. And in just a bit of time, you can see that Copilot started generating the speaker notes for each of the different slides. Now, most people would stop here, but you can actually level this up because to convince your stakeholders, it's also important to prepare for the moment itself. And here is where I would suggest going back to your notebook and using a prompt like this one. Role play as three different Sony executives reviewing this drone market entry proposal. First role, skeptical CFO who is focusing on financial risk. Second role, a conservative head of strategy. And the third role, a very demanding CEO. And for each persona, generate three to five challenging questions they would likely ask 
and what are possible responses that address their concerns while keeping the momentum for approval. And in just a moment, you can see that Copilot created for each persona some valid questions, like what guarantees that we really have this $2.1 billion revenue projection that you are talking on the first slide? Like, isn't this super optimistic? And it's also giving you a good answer that you could give to underpin the statement that you are making on that slide. And here again, if you don't know which personas to do, you can ask Copilot to create those personas for you or don't have those personas at all. But personally, what I see is that mentioning what kind of audience are you going to have in the meeting and what are their areas of responsibility really helps Copilot give you more tailored questions and better answers on how to deal with those questions. And here you go. You have now a full deck to convince anybody on Sony's world dominance of the drone market. So to recap, with this workflow, you're not just creating pretty slides, but it's also helping you think strategically. And while most people will be just prompting Copilot in PowerPoint and asking to make some slides that will not really move the needle, what we are building here is building compelling stories that will get your proposal approved. And that's what will differentiate you from the rest. So next time you need stakeholder buy-in for anything, just use this exact system. And if this will save you hours of AI frustration, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know. Drop a like and I'll see you next time. Bye.